Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel, Victoria here of Aboki Knits. Um, this video I'm going to make today, um, it's one of our requests from my subscribers. She wanted me to make a school sweater with a v-neck. Uh, it's what I'm going to be sharing with you today. I'll start by showing you how I do my sketches. Now this is a sketch which can fit uh, uh four three two year old so it, de uh, it depends on the size of a child so um this is the front of the sweater you can look at this closely and these are the measurements i'm going to use it's 42 and if you can see this well i'm using 42 43 as my needle size of uh, the needles i'm going to pull out this is the front with a v and this is the back there's no v and this is the arm i'm going to be doing 22 23 needles i'm pulling out but with an increase of six somewhere and then eight and then ten after every ten rows after six rows there is an increase after eight rows there's an increase and after ten rows there's also an increase and i cast off a row counter 130. now for the front of the sweater i will need up to uh, of course after doing a rib of 15 by 15 um that is 15 rows and then an increase to t attention 10 i need one row to make a, a fold the fold for the hem and then another 15 uh that's where I, where i fold the hem thereafter i will need 100 rows up to the area where i shape the armhole and the v and cast off uh, five rows this side and five rows this side thereafter as i shape the v I also uh, I'll need up to 60 rows as I shape the V that the shape will be coming out then for the back I'll just need straight up to 100 and uh, shape of the armhole need 60 rows and cast off straight okay um let's do this I'm pulling out 42 43 according to my measurements one by one needles for the rib uh, if you haven't learned how to cast on the yarn using the Arab method I've made some videos you can watch my previous videos of how I've been doing this it is easy just wrap, uh, wrap the yarn around the needles that you've pulled out by writing a small E which is a calligraphy uh, design it's an easy method there are other youtube videos from other youtubers that you can watch out um, i'm using tension five first you need one row hang your comb i always don't consider that one row that i've knitted so um first um, i want to put stripes in the rib so how I do it, you just watch and see how I do it. After 15 rows, increase to tension 10. Need one row, take back to tension 5. Make sure I remove that one row. And now how I'm adding the stripes, I'm going to add two stripes in maroon because I'm using gray and maroon. So I'll need so five just take off this and I change the color. Do two rows. Finish off with a gray for the remaining rows to 
that. Like that. So now I'm going to join the hem using this transfer tool. Alright, now you have to take back your row counter to 0, 0, 0 because you're starting afresh. So at this point, I'm going to first do the back and then I'll do the front. I'm going to knit up to 100 rows um, and then cast off at row counter 100. Now I've reached row counter 100, so I'm going to cast off 5 stitches from this one end. it into the seat and push these needles back and knit one row so that you're able to cast off the needles from this other side So now after casting off from both sides, I take the row counter back to zero, zero, zero. And I will need the 60 rows after shaping off the armholes. I will need straight 60 rows. Um, I already cast off and this is how the back of the sweater looks like. So I went on ahead and I started on the front. So far I've knitted 30 rows. I wanted to add in stripes of maroon. Just a change of color. I'll do 10 stripes of maroon. Ten more stripes of the gray. Right now I'm going to knit up to 100 and cast off shaping the armhole. I will take back the row counter to 0, 0, 0. Now on the carriage there is this button here which has 1 and 2, the holding position button. I'll push it to two and then I'll divide my work at zero zero now um, how you divide you transfer one needle from the needles at zero you put it on one side that's how you divide your work with, make sure the button is at two and the needles which are opposite to, which are opposite the carriage you pull them to the front here they'll be in the working position so that when you're knitting one side of the V these ones are not working you first work on one side and then you come back and work on the next so right now I'll be knitting four rows 
and increase four rows and then reduce, reduce, reduce. It. Like uh, this is how I'm going to do it up to row 60. One, two, three, four. And then I transfer the middle to the next. I make sure, make sure you push these ones that you've removed from uh, the working position. They should be to the resting position so that they are not working. So continue like that up to um, row counter 60. After the row counter has reached 60, I will cast off this one side. Take the carrot to this side and take the row counter back to zero 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 since I'm starting on the other side and remove my uh, I remove from the holding position by pushing it back to one and then knit one row. Uh, I'll do the same of transferring four needles, uh, uh, transferring one needle after four rows. So after casting off, this is how the front looks like with a V shape. I always try to stretch out the sweater right from the rib and pull it up a bit. So this is the front and the back. We are having rain and if you could hear that sound in the background, we are having rain where I am. Uh, uh, after this now I'm going to show you how you can do the arms and then we join them as well as the neck band. Uh, now for the sleeves, I'm pulling out 22, 23 needles as we had sketched here. Um, we'll, do, we'll be doing the increases. Twenty-two, twenty-three. So one by one. A stone using the Iraq method still. I'm also doing a rib with uh, two types of maroon. So let me do that and then I'll show you how we can start with the increases. After, after making the um, wristband, as we are creating the sleeve, we have increases. We make increases on one row, every one needle by pulling. We make increases after six rows. This is done by pulling one needle. To the working position, knit six rows and increase. So um, I'm going to do increases up to row counter 60, increases of 6 up to row count of 60. Then after I'll do increases of 8 um, up to row counter 58. Uh, sorry, uh, up to when row counter is 128, then I'll do the last uh, up to 6, I'll just do an increase and cast off at 130. I hope my math is understandable. I have another trick that you can use to help you if you want to know how wide your sleeves should be. I always get one part of the sweater that I've made and then I come here at um, uh, the sweater from where I cast off the, where I shaped the armhole to where I, the sweater ended. 
and I place it on the machine like this, right from center zero to the end. Then I'll know how wide I want my sleeves to, to be. So I always do this and it helps me get a proper measurement. At row counter 130 and when I put this on my machine right from center zero it is a fitting like I know the sleeves are wide enough for for the sweater so at this point I'm going to cast off and we shall be joining the sweater after knitting that after casting off I'm going to show you how you can knit the neck band and then we join the sweater um, if you're done casting off uh, if you're done with one sleeve of the sweater you can go ahead and do the next i've done the other one so um i'll be joining it to the sweater to the other part so you can first do one part of one side of the sweater of the sleeve and then you work also on the next and we join the sweater together okay uh, now to shape the neck band for the V neck, uh, I'll start from point zero, put back two stitches at the point V and stretch out to see to, to make sure that this is at 41 and this will also be at 41. These have to be in equal sizes so that your neck is not awkward and you have to put it back with the wrong side facing you and you bring back all the work to the working by transferring needles to your work Making sure now all the needles have work on them. I bring the gray. I'm maintaining uh, tension five. First, knit one knit, uh, one row and put back everything to uh, to zero zero zero. Yes, and I'll knit. I'm going to make a neck band of twelve twelve. So I'll first knit for well, since I'm doing stripes, stripes with uh, I'm adding in the stripes of maroon so I'll first need four rows of gray and then adding two stripes of maroon. Increased tension 10, take back to tension 5, and knit straight without any stripes out of rod. So now using this small uh, transfer tool, I'll be putting back the work onto the machine. Um, if you can look at this closely, I'm picking up stitches, these very small stitches, uh, which have like letter, small letter you facing up, they're the ones which I'm going to be uh, joining back to the machine, to the needle, sorry to make the band.
after putting back all the work you knit one row and then you cast off uh, the, the work from the machine now the neck band is done so i use my latch hook to trans to to stretch it i'm joining the front of the sweater to the back so i always first i put one side of the shoulder to the machine back to the needle sorry with the right side facing me up to 19 then I pick the back of the sweater you have to make sure that where you uh, where you cast off the armhole it's it's the size it's the side you're facing to the to the front of the sweater otherwise you could put it the wrong way and then you transfer stitches back to the needles to join it joining the back to the sweater Now with the two sides joined together, we are going to work on the nape. These two are ready, so we are going to work on this. Um, just transferring uh, back the work to the machine. Pick up stitches and put them back onto the machine. I have finished putting the neck band together. These two, I'll be joining these uh, two together with the blind stitch method. You can check out my videos of how I've done blind stitch. Most of the videos have been using blind stitch, so that's how I'll be joining these two together. Right now, we are going to work on putting the sleeves uh, onto our work. using our transfer tool again i'll join right from center zero where the back is meeting with the front and take it up to 41 and this side as well 41 with the right side facing you. Now after that, you get your sleeves, one of them, and you join it to the machine with the wrong side facing you so that the, the outside parts which are the yes the outsides are facing each other and the wrong sides are facing the other way out and join it to this now after putting the sleeve to the machine you just join with one 
row and cast off so you can do the same for the other side and then we join the sides uh, that is from the sleeve to the waist together after joining the sleeves onto the body um, now we are going to join this together I went on ahead and I did this off camera but how you do it it's still the same way just put back the work onto the machine right from center zero In this area down, I put it at 60, at the mark of 60 on the machine. And this side of the arm, of the sleeve, I put it at 70. And then I joined the two. So now you can see it. I'm done joining both ends of the sleeves and the body. If I could turn it in outside, this is how the sweater has come out. So um, I'm going to join here with a blind stitch, the corners of the neck with a blind stitch. Um, both sleeves and also around here with a blind stitch then I'll show you how you can create the V to come out like this so I went on ahead and I um, did a blind stitch on the arms the on the side so I want to show you how you can do the V neck here so just hold this together and you go in and you start sewing inside out uh, the same way I'm sewing in this like, like a small rectangle like this sorry triangle moving outward towards the end So you can see this now after that you have to stick this as well you stitch it well to the inside but make sure the three doesn't pass through to the outer side where it will be visible
and there the V is well shaped now here you have your school sweater ready and then You can use the same way to make any V sweater you want, a V neck sweater. This is how it is done. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, give, leave for me a comment in the comment section below and give this give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and share with your friends. See you next time. Thank you.